How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last episode we made our way to the Crimson and we did battle with the evil brain of confusion and we ended up victorious which was really nice. Uh, so we got tons of tissue samples and ores and all that good stuff. I think we also got the trophy as well which is really cool. So this episode we have a few things to do. Uh, we should make our way to the jungle and get some more upgrades before we fight Skeletron. Especially our accessories, I'm sure we could do with a few upgrades there too. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get the Crimson Rod, uh, seeing as we're collecting all the books and stars, that'd be a good thing to do. And also I wouldn't mind adding a little bit of a room underneath our tower as well, like a little foundation room would be cool. And maybe even start some of our themed rooms up above as well. So there's plenty to do this episode, so let's get started. Okay, here we are back in the Crimson in our arena. And what we need to do is smash any uh, Crimson hearts that we haven't beaten up yet. So let's make our way through here and say hello to Mr. Killer Spider. Um, which they are actually really difficult if you come here early enough. Um, they can overwhelm you pretty quickly. Now I do have some sticky bombs, so yeah, I didn't quite throw that far enough though. And I can mine them anyway with my uh, Reaver Shark, so what am I doing? Anyway, uh, let's see. So let's smash this. <gasps> Crimson Rod! Wow, that was easy! <laughs> Don't you just love when stuff works out like that, guys? That's just amazing. Ah, oh, so good. There we go, so we have our beautiful Crimson Rod. Um, which, I can't wait to get the Nimbus Rod uh, in hard mode, but this is a nice one for now. And respectable damage too, uh, probably because we have very powered up mage gear at the moment, but that's okay. Alright, then I guess it's time to make our way to the jungle! Let's go! And here we are, making our way to the jungle. And I don't think I've really looked below the surface in the jungles yet, so this will be interesting. And I probably should unload uh, all our tissue samples and stuff. I didn't think of that before we headed out. I was just like, yeah, adventure! Woo! <laughs> um, so, let's put down our piggy and just drop some stuff in there for now. That's cool. Alright, anything critical I need for our adventure? Nah, no, we're pretty good. Alright, that's cool. Oh, I didn't throw much... Oh, it's so good you can favorite torches now. Because that used to be something I'd do all the time. Oh, wonder sparking. How cute. Oh gosh, it's so useless. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it helps you get your j journey started, but you know, it's not that great. So, let's see. Wow, there's lots of chests. I mean, we don't really need this level of chest, but it's okay. Alright, little slimies, how you doing buddy? Oh gosh, oh here we go. Into the jungle proper. Did I just call it the dungle? <laughs> Into the dungle. Welcome to the dungle, baby. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What am I saying? Alright. Here we go. Ooh. Not dead ends already. So, I guess we need some more, uh... Some more life fruit. Well, not life fruit. Life crystals. Would be kind of cool. That, uh, would be alright. Alright, we'll make our way down here. Whoop. <gasps> Is that a hive? No, we haven't fought the Queen Bee! Actually, some honeycomb might be fun um, for the defense it would give us. Because, yeah, like it would release the bees and help us damage our enemies. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I'm out of mana. And still don't have mana potions. Oh, Wolfgang, you are such a crazy lad. Alright, shall we make our way down into the hive? I think so. Oh, gosh. Alright, now. Lavas, please. Whoa, this is a deep hop. All right, where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. <laughs> I am not swinging a pickaxe until I know where the lava is. <laughs> oh gosh, it's under the water. I mean, it's under the honey, isn't it? Oh, but there's a slimy. Oh, and then if I if I kill the slimy, I'm probably going to kill the lava. Oh, gosh, this is a tough situation. I don't know, guys. Alright, let's put some higher platforms here. It's going to be a bit of fun, actually. Oh, I'm feeling confident about this B fight. Because mages do get pretty strong. They uh, 
They're one of the classes, once they get going, they're, they're decent. There we go. Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh goodness. Okay, buffs are on. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we're ready. <laughs> and again, I didn't quite mean to to kill the lava, but it's like, as, I, as I've said, I think mages are a bit stronger once they get going, so I'm not too, too, too nervous. It's not like the Yaren episode where, yeah, that was panic in the streets. Okay. Ouch. Although I'm going to have to stop standing still. I'm a sitting, a sitting duck here. And it's not good. And we're out of mana. Okay. Well, that was a little bit embarrassing. I can't believe that we died. Um, I think I was a little bit overconfident. But uh, that's a good opportunity for us to do some reforging and go back and hand that be a smackdown. So, yeah, what am I looking for in a... Oh, gosh, murderous. Mm, that sounds pretty good. That's decent. I mean, it is pretty cheap to re-roll, though. So, let's have a few more clicks. So 48 was the uh, the high one there. Well, we're back to deadly. Oh, can we can we bust that 48 barrier? Oh, Mystic. That seems worse. What's the go? I don't know. Let's just take Murderous. That's pretty good. Demonic Murderous. Yep. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So uh, let's uh, quickly grab some more potions. And I thought I can probably make an abomination. So we just need some honey. I think it's a honey block, a stinger, and something else, but anywho. Okay, so let's make some, oh, what? let's make one regen. Uh, some magic power, that's kind of fun. And uh, swiftness. Yeah, I probably need to expand the arena a bit. And let's actually make some mana potions. That's uh, going to be a good idea. Beautiful. And let's make some upgraded health potions. I can't believe I was a bit underprepared there, I think. Um, so yeah, let, let's do it right this time. <laughs> okay, let's put those away. I was actually thinking we probably should start an underground mushroom farm uh, this episode too. Alright, so we're all stocked up, we're geared up, we're potioned up. It's back to the bee. Okay, here we are, back near the site of poor Wolfgang's demise. And I'm just having a little look around to get some honey. Uh, honey and all the components of the uh, abomination. So we can re-summon the bee and give it a spanking. And I just noticed a life crystal. I'm like, well, I really should have that on camera. So you guys can see the amazing thing that is getting some more life. So, um, all we need to make an abomination is some hives, some honey blocks, a stinger, and... What's the four thing? There's four things. One, two, three... Oh, bottled honey, that's right. Oh, so it's even in our menu now. So we can make one, two abominations. Whoa, that's a bit crazy. Okay, so I might just have a little quick look around. A little quick one. How does that even work? A little quick look around. Oh, there's a statue eyeball. That's kind of, that's kind of funky. That's a bit weird and different. Uh, let's grab that. And, yeah, I hope they add more functionality for some of the statues. There's, uh, some cool stuff. Actually, I probably should make the arena a bit bigger. I think that was a big problem. I had nowhere to dodge all the spiky... All the spiky tendrils that were shooting at me. Thorns, stingers, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of just having a quick lazy look. I'm hoping for another life crystal, perhaps. But, you know... We'll just, we'll just have a little look. Just a quick look. You never know. <gasps> Jungle chest. Yes. Alright, let's have a look. Let's definitely have a look in that. That's kind of fun. And let's just... Are they iridescent blocks? I can't tell because I'm full. Mudstone blocks. 
Ooh, flower boots. Very nice. We can make pretty flowers wherever we go. And I am poisoned. Okay. Let's put... Oh, hey bees. Hornets. Thingies. Let's put all this stuff in the piggy. Except our potions. Oh, I didn't favorite them. Whoops. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hunter, night owl. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's get out our abominations. And I don't think I need anything else. No, I've got that. <gasps> Almost left my mana potions in there. Oh, happy, what are you doing? Goodness. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's... What's that little statue there? It's intriguing. Oh, no way, is that a... <gasps> it's a star statue. Yes, that is legendary. That is very, very cool. Um, we can be using that in some nice arenas. Oh, so happy. That's a really good pickup, guys. Oh, is that like a little mushroom biome? It's like a mini one. Mini mushrooms. Little mini one. I'm kind of interested in collecting the uh, ingredients for the jungle set too. I think that would be nice to pick that up. Wow. Okay, our diamond staff not doing as much damage anymore. Um, I can't wait to start using the water bolt once we beat Skeletron. That will be nice. Okay, I know I keep saying I'll go back in a second. We'll just have one little look. One little look. See if there's a little life crystal for happy. I just would be happy with a tiny bit more health. Oh, there it is. There's one. Let's grab it. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. And that's the thing with the jungle, like... You can usually find a few of them. So, you only have to keep looking around the corners. And you'll get one. Alright, I'll make my way back and let's fight the bee. Okay, you crazy bee. I am ready for round two. And hopefully we don't get smashed this time. Oh gosh, alright. Let's put the abomination in here. And summon that bee. <laughs> oh, and it's straight into charge mode. Oh my gosh, it's an angry, angry bee. Hey, 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 come on now. I just want to come in here and steal all your treasure. I'm not asking for much, okay? Oh yeah, getting some nice damage straight off the bat here. This is, this is nice, I can deal with this. Okay, let's save some of these mana stars for later. Very good. I also put a little honey box there so I can just drop in and, uh, yeah, you know, get the extra uh, regen. Um, I wasn't using that last fight, and I think that got us into a bit of trouble, so... Okay, he's, she's shooting those evil stingers at us. Oh good, it stopped moving. Alright, let's get a crimson cloud on it, and just really smash it while we can. And I think this is part of this fight, you need to capitalize when it stands still like that. Oh gosh, yeah, we're, we're nailing it. <laughs> oh, this is completely different than last time. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it! <laughs> oh my gosh, the bee-related puns. It's amazing. Alright. Let's just keep smashing it then. B, you are going down, my friend! Aha, uh -huh, I hope you- Oh, whoa, that's a quick B. <laughs> oh, goodness. Whoa! Wah! <laughs> it's so fast! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay, it's only got 400 health left. Do you want to do your stand still thing again? That was that was great. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, focus happy. Focus, you're getting smashed. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Alright, where's it gone? Where's the bee? Come on, come in here and... Come and die, yes. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay, treasure bag. <sighs> okay, that went a lot better that time. Oh, goodness. And I was, I was confident last time. I was like, yeah, we've got an arena. This is all under control. Oh, goodness, I don't know. Okay, so let's open the bag. And what are we hoping for? Hmm, maybe a nice accessory we can use. That would be cool. Okay, time for treasure. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow, you get so much in the B set. So good. Wow, B mask. That's, that's kind of fun. And beekeeper. Ooh, the hive pack and the honeycomb. Gee, look at the modifiers on it. Wow. Oh, and I've got the panic necklace too, so we can put that with the honeycomb. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. 
Hmm, maybe that one? Okay. Yeah, that's kind of good. Now, as, as fun as this is, I don't think we need to fight the Queen Bee again. I know I've got another Abomination, but I don't think it's really necessary. We got pretty much all the accessories we needed. Um, so, let's see, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to get some stuff for the jungle armor. Alright, so I just checked the wiki to see what we need, and luckily we've had an Ancient Cobalt Helmets uh, drop already, which uh, they're interchangeable with the pieces of the jungle set. So that's a nice start. Uh, then we're going to need, you need two vines, which we've already got three, so that's fine. And we need ten stingers. Oh, there were some stingers on the ground. Um, so we need six more stingers, and then we need about 24 jungle spores, which are these beautiful glowing things here. And the reason I'm interested in trying the jungle set, even though we've got the meteor set, is I'm interested in playing around with critical strike a bit more. We've already got a high crit, and I think against Skeletron it'd be interesting to... If we could get it, our crit to about 50%, like, that's pretty awesome for early in the game. And, uh, yeah, I reckon that'd wreck him. You just saw then we did a crit for about uh, 68 damage. Uh, so yeah, I think it's got some potential. So let's put our stingers up the top and our jungle spores up there. I like to keep track of what I'm farming for. Um, and it's a really great tip, guys. If you're ever crunching or grinding for a certain item, put it in your hotbar so you can see the progress. It'll keep you motivated. Oh my gosh, it's another life crystal. We like that. And even though my inventory is chockers, we're gonna get it. Okay, that's beautiful. Alright, so we've got enough stingers, we've got enough um, vines. We just need about 13 more jungle spores. So we, we're getting close, we're getting there. Okay, we survived our jungle expedition there. Just, I almost died once or twice. Um, jungle mobs can overwhelm you very, very quickly. So I thought what we'd do first is make the... I don't know what it's actually called when you merge these two accessories together. It's called something though, I'm pretty sure. Sweetheart necklace. There you go. Um, ooh, it's got arcane. That's kind of fun. Although I think we might go damage modifier. On it. Uh, the other thing I want to do is actually make the jungle set. Now, I read on the wiki that you can put cobalt pieces with it, so we'll make the pants and the shirt. And if we equip these three, we should get the set bonus. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we've got the increased uh, mana. Oh my gosh, look at our mana score. So many stars. That's awesome. And we've also got reduced mana usage, but increased critical strike. So 25 up from 13%. And we have 32 with that set. Okay, so we've lost 5 damage, but gained a significant amount of crit strike. I don't know, I'm a bit torn on this one, guys. Gosh. Maybe that can be our question for today. Like, which set do you think is better? Um... You know, is it better just to go straight damage, or is it better to have a um, uh, higher crit? I'm not too sure now, because a, a whole five points of uh, magic damage is pretty extreme. Or oh, just don't know. Oh, you guys will have to help me out on this one. Alright, let's take the bombs out of our inventory before I blow stuff up unnecessarily. That would be sad. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Okay, thanks as always for watching another episode of the Wolfgang the Warlock. Ah, I can't believe we lost to the Queen Bee once in this episode, but we went back and got our revenge, which felt really good. <laughs> oh gosh. So remember to answer that very important question, which armor set should we go for with our Skeletron fight? Should we go with the jungle set for more mana, or should we go for the... and more crit? Or should we go for the Meteor set for more base damage? It's a tough decision. I just don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. It's time for some shout outs as always. And our first one is from Need More Mushrooms. And they've asked me to say in a traveling merchant voice. Oh gosh, don't think I've done that one before. Wow, cookies you say. May I interest you in a package deal of two angel statues for three gold instead? <laughs> angel statues, oh my gosh. What if they had a secret use in Terraria and no one knew what they did? Oh my gosh, that'd be so awesome. <laughs> Thanks mushrooms, that's cool. Our next one is from CJ Master 2 and they've asked me to say in a Wolfgang voice. Mana potions? That is outrageous! They're completely 100% optional! But not really so much after this episode, were they? <laughs> oh, I can't believe we got killed <laughs> by running out of mana. <laughs> oh gosh. Thanks, CJ. Our next one is from... Oh, Giant Bunny. <laughs> I forgot you were here. <laughs> oh, your bunny. <laughs> Our next one is from Ujo Buffler. And the last... Oh, this is from Gavin and Yaren. They've asked me to say, poor Yaren losing to the wall of flesh. Hey, I'm in expert mode. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, we're at Yokult now. That's cool. Uh, thanks, Ujal. That was awesome. Our next one is from Meow Butter. And they've asked me to say in an angler voice, Oh, hey, the base, oh, no, the, the bass ate all my cookies. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> When you think about it, you catch so many bass in Terraria, like it's crazy. They would literally be all over the place. <laughs> I would love if bass were like slimes, it was like, and they're just like bouncing all over the place. That'd be pretty funny. Thanks, Mia, that was awesome. And our last one is from Michelle Cornish. And have asked me to say in a Batman voice, I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> love it thanks michelle oh my gosh guys all right so leave a like if you've enjoyed this and the way i like you to think about it is think of like like giving me a cookie so if you click the like it's like hey happy have a cookie thanks for the video um oh no i'm shooting the bunny <laughs> poor bunny <laughs> that would be cool if there was a bunny this big oh there is in mobile isn't it isn't it called lepus or something lepus lepus Oh my gosh, I want to fight that one. Okay, so yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, comments, so you can answer the question or just leave a shout out, request or any of that good stuff. Remember to be super respectful to everyone in the comments. And I'm feeling like it's almost time to give out another one of our community rewards. I haven't done one for a week or so. Um, remember, community rewards are just for being positive in the comments and helping out everyone. Um, I don't, you know, have a set day or time frame for them, but yeah, if I see someone doing, you know, really positive stuff in the community, you can earn yourself a small prize, which is usually a game over Steam for free, just for being awesome. Okay, and if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner, you won't be disappointed. Alright, here's the most important part, as always, you will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Hopper Doge, signing out, see ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you could see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It's just, oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!